So we got a call for a Toyota 4Runner that is stuck in some sand, maybe a little bit of an angle, out by Gunlock Reservoir. So we're going to head out there and see if we can get out. We got Colin here with the weather. It's a beautiful Sunday morning, just clear skies, beautiful day. We'll get them out. Got Rhett back there. I'm here with them getting this Toyota 4Runner out. And Peanut's right here. Hey, Peanut. This is the first job with the Moor Bear since we got the new transfer case in. So we're going to see how that goes. We'll give you a full report. So right there is the lake. Right over there is where all the Gunlock Falls are at. Okay, we'll go get it. Got the keys. Peanut, are you ready to get out? Huh? Boy, we almost made it. Woo! Two wheel drive game is strong today. It is so much lower geared. Oh, yeah, is that, that nice? is so nice. <laughs> We should probably put it in four wheel drive, but we're not gonna yet. There he is. It looks very precarious, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. I want it. Why did I bring a fishing pole? That got air under it? Complete air. Look, we're right next to the lake. Fishing? Yeah, just a couple minutes, a couple casts. Red sand, we should have brought fishing poles instead of recovery gear. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> He lock. has got a tire completely off of the ground. Yeah. I want a toe point, a tree saver, a soft shackle, and nothing else. What do you think, Peanut? Do you think this vehicle's in peril? So just like almost anything that we do, there are lots of different ways we could do this. We could do it with kinetic energy, like we could use Matt's recovery rope. I'm gonna do something we don't do very often, just to keep it interesting for me, and hopefully for you. We've got a really good solid tree right here. So we are going to do a redirect. You're gonna want this as low as possible. You're gonna to wanna to use a good tree saver like this. So these, this isn't one of the new ones. They've got a, they've got an upgraded version of this. This will work absolutely amazing for what we're doing today though. We're gonna get this hooked up and we'll be back in a minute. All right, we've got the winch right here. We've got a redirect right here, tree saver. And then we're hooked to our toe point here. We got our freedom winch line. So between the freedom winch line and the Yankum ropes toe point, I think we're gonna get this right out of here. Okay, Colin, you're gonna be in the recovered vehicle. Rhett, you're on the winch. I guess I'm on the camera today. Let's get this out of here. Okay, go ahead and start it up. Got oil pressure? Yep, looks good. Okay, you're low. low. Yep. Okay, ready. Okay, rep, pull it in a little.
Okay, you'll notice that there's nobody inside the Triangle of Death. Okay, go a little, Colin. All right, that's good. I think we're out of here. Well, that worked good. Okay, we like to keep these up here where Rhett can't reach them. They're way up there, aren't they? Yeah. Lunch is put away. Lunch or winch? I said winch. Oh. Sounded like lunch to me. There has been concern about trees, so let's go see tree. I don't even see a scratch. Okay, now turn around. All right, we're gonna bring him right up through here where the Morver went. That way there's no risk of sliding off the road there again. This is a nice ride. This Toyota is in great condition. This is a manual, and I know in this day and age that that's like a deal breaker for some people. But uh, if you grew up around me, you're gonna drive a manual. So this is the spillway for Gunlock Reservoir. I don't know how much water's coming through it, but when it's really full and, and running, this is a very spectacular sight. So if you like streams, pools, Climbing on rocks and beautiful scenery. This is an excellent little trip to come take. Okay, well, you promised them the falls. Here they are. We supply and deliver. If you have never chewed on a pinion pine needle, you're missing out. This is like the forest and camping and Christmas all rolled into one memory. It's so awesome. You said this is smoother than the Morver. No, I just said it rides smoother than I thought it would. No, oh, it's definitely not smoother than the Morver, but it is a smooth ride. There's really only one obstacle on this trail, and that's the one we did earlier. I'm gonna get out and try to show you how steep it is. That concludes our side-by-side -side comparison of the Toyota 4Runner versus the Morvair. I'm giving you a three. Ouch. Well, you don't even know what it's out of. Oh, what's it out of? Out four? of four. Yes. Sorry, guys. I'm not perfect at manual. I drive an old Corvair, and the clutch is going out on it, so... How was it? Not too bad. Not too bad. There you go. Sweet. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Okay, you guys have a great day. Load up. Get in. I learned to stay. <laughs> okay, stay back here. You got to stay back here because you're all wet. Colin, that's your job to make sure she stays back there. So you get in. Ugh. Out of the kindness of my heart, I'm going to let my younger brother have the front seat. Or the front seat buckled How did this drive? Good. You like the gearing? I did like it. All right, that wasn't too bad. They definitely were in a tight spot. We were able to get them out of there without too much trouble. Plus, we got a short little wheeling trip in, so I'd say it was a win-win-win.
I second that. It was a great day. I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. I third that. If you're like me, you have to eat. And today, we're eating this. There's this great company called Just Meats, and they send you all different kinds of pre-seasoned meats. It's great because it's sourced locally in the Rocky Mountain area, grass-fed beef, grass-fed chicken. Just open up the package, and it's just there. All you have to do is warm it up. So this is what we're doing today. We are gonna have beef and chicken fajitas. I don't know how safe the banana hood is. Right there, I'm gonna warm that right up. All right, we're gonna cook our food. We're gonna hit the trail. So who's the hungriest? Oh, well, I'm starving. Okay, just reach in there and pinch what you want. Do not spill them because it's precious. <laughs> is it any good, Caitlin? Mm -hmm. If you're interested in Just Meats, there is a link in the description. You should check it out. If you use the promo code MORE, it's $15 right off of any purchase. That also is good with other promos that they're doing. Right now, they're doing 25% off for all new subscriptions to Just Meats, so that's a pretty big savings. So if you like food and you want to get it in your belly, this is a great way to do it. It's also health conscious. No artificial flavors, no artificial colors. It's seasoned to perfection. If you're on the go, if you're in a hurry, you can just grab it, warm it up, put it right right in here. All right, now back to the job. Who's not eating this? Why are you not eating I this? I want to eat, eat it. on that. <laughs> Come on now. So we got a call. Can confirm. We've got some kind of a pickup truck that drove through Bloomington, past the Bear Claw Poppy, hooked a left, dropped down into the river. Didn't quite make it though, because they got stuck in the sand. So we're headed there to see if we can get them out. We've got Peanut with the weather. It's really nice today. Oh, that's awful. Don't be that guy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we'll get him out. We're going to be picking the customer up at the parking lot and heading out. Is that him? That's the guy. Okay, well, we got Bryce here. He's the so, one that's got his truck stuck down there. Just looks kind of high centered in the pictures. Uh, yeah. Shouldn't be too bad. And last time I was here, we got a navigator that was up on the rock. And then farther that way, we got that Jeep that had rolled over in the bottom of that oh, yeah. ravine. One of Peanut's favorite things to do is be right there with you. She likes to snuggle. So this particular spot we're going to, you're kind of up on this hilly plateau, and then you drive all the way to the river, and then you drive straight down to the river. It gets real steep, real fast, right at the end. So my dad was saying this is where they drug Lizzie out. Yeah, this gold Honda or whatever it Gio's was. Geo's a Geo. So this is where it starts to get steep right here, Colin. Oh wow, look at that. This isn't really crazy, and he like he doesn't need a spotter or anything. I'm trying. One of these days, I'm going to capture how steep and narrow this is. Today, I'm going to try to do that. I don't know if it's going to work. So the river is clear down there. I think I know how to show you how steep it is. I don't think that even showed it. That's okay. That's not even the steep spot. The real steep spot's right here. Straighten it out. So just imagine it's twice as steep as it looked like on the camera. <laughs> we have eyes on the prize right there. I think backwards is best. Oh yeah. All right, yeah, just back it up. Looks good. All right, we're gonna let Colin do this recovery. I'm just gonna stand here and admire the sunset. It is beautiful. Me and Peanut 
Oh, look at her. Some sort of otter over there. Just soft shackle than this? No. No. Heavens no. Give you a little hint. Oops. I don't do this enough, apparently. That was a cheat. I gotta get that boy trained. Listen, you get a textbook when you take a big test, all right? You, you get a look through your notes or whatnot. I was using my resources. You gotta take notes. So this is how you want to do this. You want this last little bit to be straight, and the first half to be wavy like this. Okay, there's a couple things going on. We never talk about this. I'm just going to mention a couple things. When you're using the kinetic rope for kinetic pull, you're going to want the, the right size of rope for what we're doing. We're using a 7 8 rope here. That covers your lighter vehicles, your 3,000 pounds to 5,000 pound vehicles. So that's what we're going to use on this. Um, Colin, you're going to do a medium rare pull, and then you're going to let her eat when you hit the end of it. All right, we're going to have Bryce jump in his own truck. What you're going to do is you're going to put it in reverse, All right. and you're not going to help a lot. You're going to put it in reverse, take your foot off the brake, and then when it starts to move a little bit, just gas just a little, not much. Okay, Colin, you ready? Okay, go. No gas. All right, no gas till you okay. start moving. Go. Okay, go. Good. Stop. Beautiful. All right, that worked good. Good job. Okay, tell them why you were cautious on the first one. I like to find the rope first, so I was a little cautious on that first one. After you find the rope, you can bump harder, or do what yeah. you need to do. So that's another thing about these kinetic ropes. You don't start at full volume. If you're in a situation where you're, the vehicle that's pulling is not gonna be getting stuck, you can kind of sneak up on it, do a little bit, do another one. Well, I was telling Colin to let it eat after hitting the rope. You're typically never gonna do that. Once you hit the end of the rope, um, you do the rope plus traction, but if that doesn't do it, if it doesn't move out, then stepping on the gas is just gonna get you buried. In this situation, I wanted to let the Morver do some dead pull in there because I think it's cool and so that's why I did it. Colin's gonna show you some fancy driving. Not too fancy though. Not the too right too amount of fancy. Right amount. All right we're gonna run. Run down the beach. Come on Peter. All right let's see what he's got. Spin one donut right here without rolling it. Hold it in first gear. that was a little bit of fun if you don't like that kind of stuff i'm sorry but if you do like that kind of stuff you're welcome ready for dinner i am yes so how was that great the suspension's a little soft not exactly a drift car All right, we're gonna see the different approaches to getting up this. Okay. All right, that's the way the Morvair crawls up there. Let's see which way this truck, I think he's just gonna come up right here. All right, 
let's go get Bryce's shirt. I'll try a large. After that, we can go catch the guy who stole your sleeves. I've always wanted to make that dad joke. Okay, there you go. Sweet. Thank you. Awesome. Sick. Thanks, brother. Thank y'all. Well, anyway, that was that. We got him out. We're gonna head home. Thank you so much for watching. Your turn. Your turn. I just love my brother so much. Yeah. He thinks he gets shotgun.